Welcome to the Geek's Attic. This is a book review of Star Wars Ronin. Star Wars Ronin was written by Emma Miko Kandon, and surprisingly, this is Emma's debut novel. It was published by Del Rey. Thank you for sitting on a copy for me to review. And this is also a tie-in to the Disney Plus original series, Visions. Now let's go ahead and dive into a brief summary. An old man is haunted by a voice in his head. Now he's lived a long, hard life. Events unfold in a manner he never expected when he witnesses a slain warrior rise from the dead. Now it's brought to light that a Sith witch has been resurrecting the dead to do her bidding. The old man, known as the Ronin and a band of unusual folks, will make it their mission to find the witch who's creating her demonic army and sever the strings of her dark puppetry. Now the band of warriors will face many trials, some will be victorious, while some will, will be overcome with grief. Now, the quest will also bring to light answers as to what happened to the beautiful planet Ryizu, which vanished after a great war between the Sith and the Jedi. Now, in this tale, lore of the Force and those that wield it are altered in a way readers have not ever witnessed in Star Wars before. Now, let's talk about two characters before we get into my overall thoughts. The first one is Akaya. I'm not sure if that's how you say the name or not, but that's... That's how I read it. Now, Akaya, she is the pilot of the Poor Crow. She's the most down-to-earth character of the bunch. Now, she's not afraid to tell people how things are going to be on her ship. And when tensions rise between bickering Force users, she'll tell them to shut it, to move along, go about their business. Now, in her youth, she was forced to fight in a war that she wanted nothing to do with. She lost so much that was dear to her. And now she pins that anger on the Sith and the Jedi. Now, up next is the Ronin. He's a seasoned warrior that served both the light and the dark. In his youth, he served the Jedi. Yet, he eventually abandoned the ways of the Empire and the Jedi to serve his own desires. Now, he and a woman that he loved sought out the mirror of the Shinsu Temple, which was said to give visions on how one could obtain their deepest desires. Now, this led to a great war on the planet Riazu. Now, in his old age, he's alone, but yet not alone, as a voice in his head guides him into danger to duel with Sith warriors. But this voice, it's not just singular to the Ronin. So now let's get into my overall thoughts of Star Wars Ronin. This book, I have mixed feelings about it, okay? Most of what's in this story I absolutely enjoyed. We have a wonderful adventure full of obstacles with pain and suffering. There's mystery, hope, betrayal, and mysticism. The novel takes an alternate route from what we know as canon, okay? Emma tells a unique story that does have familiar tones that we've witnessed in Star Wars, but it's so very different. Now, this story, this galaxy of Star Wars, is a version we haven't seen. The Empire rules the galaxy, but it's not the Empire that we know in current canon or the expanded universe or legends, okay? So, the Jedi are the warriors of the Empire, and they are divided into clans that are ruled by Jedi lords that serve princes of the empire. Emma's writing style is nice. It's not a style that I recognize in any other Star Wars book, so that's great. It really helps make her stand out. Um, I prefer this style. It reads more like a fantasy rather than a science fiction, so I prefer that, okay? The plot was great. The twists were decent. As a tale that isn't part of the Star Wars canon timeline, it definitely works as a standalone novel that brings its own lore and could potentially spark a new line of canon in an alternate Star Wars universe. Okay, so the negative that I had, and I really do hope you listen to me. Hear me out here. Uh, I did not like the use of the pronoun they, them, their. I found it extremely difficult to follow in some situations and got very confused when a group of characters were talking amongst each other. Uh, the shift of they or there between an individual and individuals was making my head spin. I also don't understand how a character is known to be identified as this when another character comes along and refers to the character as a they, them, there. Uh, I can't find a logic in it. I don't know how does that other character know that that's what they identify as if they haven't had a conversation yet. Um, but however, the character that identified as this was very interesting, very cool, very mysterious. I just wish that everything that revolved around this character did not confuse me like it did. I mean, that's the real negative that I have with it. Some of the plot points were a little bit goofy, but overall, very good. So for the rating, I will give Star Wars Ronin a B-. I loved the writing style and the plot, but the confusion that disrupted my brain while reading a particular character... Uh, really, that's what brought the rating down. But uh, if you would like to purchase this book, I provide a link down in the description box below. The novel will be released October 12th, 2021. Remember, you can find me at thegeeksaddict.com and across all social media at thegeeksaddict. 
Have a good one.